Lawson here. Another major announcement and uh, I know I haven't done uh, around the town videos for a while because uh, well now that uh, YouTube has uh, gone on gone and did their uh, widescreen player uh, I don't want my videos to look crappy so I found a way uh, found a cheaper way I, I don't know it's just a trial program that I found because uh, I don't really have money to buy a program yet to to uh, adjust, but it's a trial program I have to uh, convert full screen uh, videos to widescreen. And well, I figure, well, right now, the, the, I was surprised that the, uh, my little intro that I have actually worked for, uh, to actually fill the whole screen, so you got no black bar on this side, no black bar on this side, so everything's fine. But the only thing about it, which you'll probably notice even from this one, that maybe it's a little, like, like stretched out a little bit. But you know what? I don't care. I mean, the thing about it is I am planning, and I've been planning this for a while, and ever since I got my new job at Hugo's, which is going well, by the way, uh, I have always uh, wanted to upgrade to a new camera. The one that I've been using for pretty much all the videos I've made that you've seen so far, it's the uh, flip video camera, and I know flip video has actually become pretty popular now because I know they use uh, a lot of that for their YouTube Live or they were a sponsor for the YouTube Live uh, program. Anyway, uh, flip video is great, but it's not all that great. See, the thing about it with flip is, uh, well, the software inside, but that's only like a trial. You know, you, you have to actually like purchase the software in order to keep it going or whatever. Like if you notice in the first few videos that I made, the first three anyway with this camera, I, like I could fade to from one scene to another. Now I have to do that manually on my own on another program if I want to do that. So anyway, and then another, another thing that I noticed is uh, not so much that it takes batteries because the batteries a lot. Battery, if you get good batteries for it, you know, the battery life will last for quite a while. But what what really bothers me is, is the fact of. Uh, like if I'll make certain move, movements or whatever with the camera, it'll like slow down or, or like freeze. You know, the image will freeze a couple times or whatever. It just looks awful, you know. That's you know. I mean, I paid 150 bucks for this camera. You figured that it would not do that. It never did that in the first first couple of runs. So maybe it's just after testing it out. I don't know. The point is, I am going to upgrade. I found a camera, a $300 camera. Uh, JVC camera that uh, uploads to YouTube. That's a widescreen. Has a widescreen monitor. Has one of those little handheld uh, case or not cases, but uh, handheld thing where you can put your hand right in the the side or whatever and hold on to it instead of like holding it like this, like I have with the flip video one. You can actually, you know, so your hands not in the way. It zooms really. You can zoom, like, you know, I can find something way outside, like like a, say like the flag or whatever. Or like, uh, yeah, from here to the college, I, the big flag that they got up, I could zoom way up close to it and probably see more, you know, more detail than I can from way over here. It's pretty good. It can, it can zoom up to 70, 70 uh, times the zoom. So that, that'll be nice to have. I can't wait to get it. It'll be one last, you know, one last big gift for me for 2008, I guess. Christmas time's uh, here, or the holidays are officially have arrived. I want to... Wish everybody a happy holidays. Uh, we just had Thanksgiving over now, and now Christmas is the next holiday, and then New Year's, of course, and we start 2009. Uh, 2008 has definitely been a big year for me as far as the things that I've been able to do. Uh, not so much just with YouTube, but just you know, like, you know, the new computer I got, uh, new jobs, uh, a lot of stuff, you know. But the biggest coup to me, and this is, you know, I mean, I to bring up old news but the biggest coup as far as what I've been able to accomplish in 2008 was the fact that I was able to get the uh, to go to Astoria Oregon for the first time in my entire life hopefully not the only time you never know uh, and get a chance to go on a trip to see the Goonie House the kindergarten cop school uh, the short circuit house and many many other things you know the county jail the museum all in that one trip 
I mean, it was definitely worth it. I wish I would have had a video camera at the time because that, you know, it just would have been so perfect. Anyway, so uh, a few things that I will be doing uh, soon here. I will be doing another DVD update. I just went to Walmart yesterday and bought a bunch of DVDs. I figured, you know, I could wait till Black Friday, which is today, or I could just do it you know, Thanksgiving Day, go to Subway, get something to eat, and I go shopping, and that's what I did. So I bought a bunch of new DVDs, and I, I will do a DVD update one. I got stuff like the Rugrats uh, cartoons on DVD I found, a uh, two-pack for $5. That was a hell of a deal. A movie called Cart Racer, if anyone's ever heard of that. Uh, the Naked Gun Trilogy, and I found a Superman 4-pack of the four original Superman movies uh, for $10. And instead of buying them individually or whatever, for like 12 bucks a piece or whatever, or, or the whole box for like 60 bucks, I got all four movies, the first four, I think there was four, I'm not too sure. Anyway, with Christopher Reeve, I got the whole series for $10. What a hell of a deal. Anyway, uh, I, I will eventually want to get that real Ghostbusters box in, but I want to wait on that. I was going to get that, you know, if, if I would have got the camera, or that plan on getting the camera, but I'd rather have the camera. The Ghostbusters box, as far as I'm concerned, will always be there. And when they get to the individual copies, maybe I'll get that instead. Uh, I do know if you go to, on a site called BTTF.com, which is Back to Future's website, they are going to re be releasing the individual copies all three individual copies of Back to the Future. Back to the Future Part 1 will be in a two disc special edition. Back to the Future Part 2 will be just a one disc. And Back to the Future Part 3 will be in a one disc. And the cool thing about this is this was what they should have done a long time ago instead of putting all three in a box in. They should have, they're using the original covers for the original movies. Not, not a remake, not a new animation. They're using the original covers that, that they used when they first put on VHS for the uh, the DVDs, and uh, this, this will be released sometime in, in February. So, anyway, I'll keep you up to date as things happen. I'll uh, probably do a DVD update probably in a couple of days on Saturday. I'll try to get to one, and uh, we'll just go from there. So, from my house to yours, happy holidays, and uh, we'll definitely uh, keep in touch as far as more videos. And in three weeks from today, I will officially have my brand new camera. Just three weeks. So, it'll be great. So, happy holidays, and we'll see you later.